guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to today's video, um, thank you all for coming back and joining me again, happy new year to all of my subscribers, old and new, I haven't actually filmed a video in the new year which I know seems crazy because we're basically approaching like the middle to end of January, um, but I was away for two weeks, I was over in the States for most of January so I have not been filming, but as you guys can see from the title of this video, this is something that I kind of just like was laying in bed last night and I was like, I really want to film this. Um, it's gonna be a get ready with me. I'm going out for some dinner with a friend of mine and I was like, I really wanna film a chit chat get ready with me just at the beginning of the year to sort of look back on and just start the year off. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. I will talk about some of the products that I'm using but I will just list everything below because I kind of wanna talk about other things um, and that is what this video is, is essentially about. So yeah, before we get started, I've got I've got a lot of makeup that we're going to use, but I'm going to go for something really natural, quite light. I just don't want anything too heavy on my skin at the moment. Um, I haven't got any fake tan on at the moment. I'm just, yeah, I just don't want any, anything too much because I'm literally just popping out of dinner and I'm coming straight home. Mostly in today's Get Ready With Me, I wanted to sort of talk about a few things that I have not yet spoken about on my channel. Um, just sort of like the direction of where I want my channel to go this year in 2018, how my 2017 was, as I really want to know how your guys' was as well, and just some goals that I have set myself for 2018. And I wanted to film this video as sort of like a marker that I could hopefully look back on at the end of the year, um, or January 2019, and just sort of see how I've changed if I've changed and if any of the goals and things that I set myself to do I have achieved. So it's kind of scary because most most of the time you kind of keep your goals to yourself or what you want to do for the year to yourself but I kind of am just putting them on this public platform. I've kind of decided that I want my channel to be more of like a virtual diary than a space where I just talk about materialistic things. Don't get me wrong I absolutely love talking about clothes, shoes, makeup, handbags, all of that stuff but I don't want it to get to a point where like I just feel the whole space is inundated with just like materialistic things um, because I just don't think that's good for myself so yes anyway let's hop into this so I'm going to jump in with a few of my favourite products some of these are new so this one might be interesting for you guys because I've got a few new things that I actually picked up over in the States or just over Christmas time the first being this Mario Badescu skincare facial spray mmm and I love the smell of rose water. It's literally my one of my favourites. I find it really, really soothing. Um, so, <coughs> apart from when I eat it, not so soothing then, is it, George? We'll list everything below, so don't worry. Um, I will list everything below. But back to what I sort of wanted this video to be about. Um, I essentially just feel as though I have loved my YouTube making YouTube videos this year. I really sort of like got on it this year and just was much more consistent. I wasn't the best, but I was better. Particularly at the end of the year, I feel like I really have got into more of a routine with filming and uploading and editing because it does take up a lot of time. Um, but I definitely feel like I got into much more of a routine and I really just saw it paying back. Like I saw more people that wanted to comment and engage with me um, on my YouTube, I saw my subscriber count go up and just like little things that show that the hard work you put in is sort of like coming back to you in some way. Um, so what I decided to do for this year, and this was totally inspired by the way by, oh my gosh I've completely gone blank on her name, oh, this is so annoying, Amber. Amber, and I can't remember her last name, but she does all of those really cool like recreating Kylie Jenner's like $300,000 outfit and she like does it for like $100. Um, she's amazing, I will leave a link to her channel below, but she basically did this video where she did a goals video and she just wrote down all of her goals and she said it was something really important that she felt really helped her for the last like two or three years she's done it. So I decided to do it myself and I wrote my own and obviously this is not gonna be for everything, everyone, but I am one of those people that find when things are written down, they're much more achievable for me. And I love to write everything down anyway. I'm such a weirdo. I write everything down. Um, so I just want to talk to you guys through some of my goals, what I've just been trying to do to get into a more positive sort of headspace at the moment, um, and things that are sort of helping me. So I'm going to talk to you first about one of my first goals, and that is to read more books this year. Um, I This is such an easy one as well. They don't all have to be like really, you know, never going to happen unrealistic goals. I think definitely set yourself some things that you think you can actually do. Um, 
and it doesn't always have to be at the start of the year like there's always a misconception like oh on the first day of January you should start what you want to do but you know what I mean just do it when you feel ready um I basically used to read a lot when I was at university and just going back to like one of the things that I feel was so amazing about 2017 for me is that I graduated university and I graduated university with a really just, I was just so happy. I got exactly what I wanted to get marks wise. I just felt in a really great space. Um, so for me, 2017 was such a fab, fab, fab year that I want to sort of bring that over into 2018, even though I won't be doing anything as amazing as like graduating this year. Um, but reading is something that I feel I've definitely lost touch with. I did a lot of reading during my degree. I love reading. But then when I graduated, I kind of just stopped and I got a bit lazy. So I've already bought three books to read this year. And whoa, this is not my colour. I'm going to have to paint my whole neck. But oh well, it's all right. <laughs> For those of you that might be wondering, the books that I picked up were these three. The first one being The Note. I first heard about this book on This Morning. They interviewed this lady on This Morning who it was kind of like a fairy tale romance where she saw this guy that she really liked on the train and she sent him a note and that is how they ended up getting together and I just, I have like fell in love with the story because it's just, you don't hear of that happening in real life, do you know what I mean? Um, and so brave of her as well, like for doing something completely out of her comfort zone, so yeah, um, and now they're like married and have two children, it's really really sweet, so I picked that up, that's more of my fun read and then the other two are a little bit more intense I guess you could say, the first one is To Kill the President, which is really like satirical and I just love that that's the title especially at the present time but um I've seen this everywhere at the moment I keep seeing everyone talking about it and stuff so and I really like thrillers so hopefully this is going to be a good book um let me know if you've read it don't give me any spoilers but let me know if it's any good next book that I picked up is called um they Can't Kill Us All, and it's by Wesley Lowry, Lowry, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, this is basically about the Black Lives Matter movement, something that I find, again, so interesting because um, I did my degree on things sort of surrounding that, and I wrote my dis dissertation on things surrounding that, so I wanted to get this book. I can't believe I hadn't actually read this book, to be honest with you. Um, I've definitely heard of it before, and it's it's got really good reviews online and stuff and I think it's just one of those books that if you're into American history and just sort of like if you're into current affairs and like where America is at the moment these sorts of books are probably um, quite interesting reads. So another goal of mine was to it is to um, grow my YouTube and Instagram and I haven't really set any specific stats or anything just because I think growing your Instagram doesn't always mean followers that's that's definitely not I don't, I don't think that's how it should be or how it is um you know there are some people that have loads of followers but they don't have high engagement and they just don't connect with them very well so when I said grow my channels obviously it would be nice to sort of grow in num in terms of number but it would be much nicer to grow in sort of like relationships with my subscribers and people that watch my videos and just sort of like engagement and like try and do more personal online videos rather than all of these sort of um handbag and clothing videos that I tend to do on my channel so yeah that was what that one was about it's just sort of about I've really seen that the more hard work you put in definitely the more you get out I worked a lot harder in 2017 on my channel than I did the previous year and I definitely saw something back from it um I could have worked harder there's always room for improvement so I think that's why I've set myself that sort of one this year I definitely want to keep going on my YouTube and get it really great and organized and just in a really good space um, as well with my Instagram I do struggle a lot more with Instagram and sort of feeling like I'm connecting with anyone on there um, I definitely don't have that many followers on my Instagram and I just feel like it's a very competitive place at the moment and I also feel like every single image is so highly manipulated not saying that I'm not a fault for that um, but I feel like every single image is so highly manipulated that it's hard to pick out what is reality and what isn't. I read a really good quote about Instagram and it was something like, Instagram is now the online reality TV series or something. Um, just about how it's, it's like not actually real but people think it's real and yeah I just really resonated with that I think that's definitely true especially for like younger girls and boys. Um, I think there's a lot of misconceptions about Instagram people think that all of those images are sort of real life and they're so not um so yeah I struggle I struggle a lot more with sort of getting anywhere with Instagram 
um, but I definitely want to sort of improve all my socials. I would love to make a Facebook page this year, that is something that I am determined to do. Um, if I'm watching this back in 2019 and I haven't made a Facebook page, I'm going to be annoyed with myself. Um, make a Twitter, maybe, all of that good stuff and yeah. So those are some of the goals I set for myself. You guys are probably watching this like, whoa, she talks a lot, but I actually talk so, so much in my everyday life, but I feel like whenever I come on YouTube, I am myself, but I am only half of myself. I never talk about things that are important to me, and that's just kind of what I want to do this year. Of course I want to talk about all the fun girly things, but at times I want to vlog, I want to talk about stuff that makes me happy, makes me upset maybe, um, just stuff like that. So I thought that this video would be a good place to start. I had is um, go to Croatia by the end of the year. I definitely want to go more, um, go travelling more. I have a friend of mine that is going to Australia in September. I would love to go with her, but I didn't write that down just because I feel like it isn't actually going to be realistic for me at the moment, um, just with regards to like my work and stuff. So obviously I would love to do that, but I might have to wait for another year. But I know that Croatia is definitely somewhere that I want to go before the end of the year. So I've written that one down and hopefully I will get that one off my list. I just wanted to quickly point out is my friend Phoebe bought me these Spectrum brushes for Christmas. Thank you so much Phoebe, I've been using them so much and I actually really really like them. So if you guys want like a um, in-depth review of these brushes, go ahead and let me know because I'm so impressed. I've wanted to try them for ages and she knew that so she bought me them for Christmas which was so nice of her and I've been using them so much guys. So I'm just setting my face with a little bit of powder, it's just makeup revolution powder. Nothing too fancy. Another one of my um, sort of goals for the year is to try and meditate and get into yoga. I used to meditate actually quite a bit when I was like in year 10, year 11. Yeah, like I might have even been younger to be honest. No, year 10, when I was in year 10. And I love doing it. I used to watch all of those YouTube videos and just do it in my room. Gosh, I was a bit of a strange, strange um, teenager, but I really, really loved it. And then I just sort of never, I don't know what happened, I just stopped doing it. And I just thought to myself, why? It was so relaxing, it was so calming, and everyone needs a bit of relaxation in their life. So I've got this new app, which I will link below, no one has told me to mention this app by the way, I just saw Mika Francis mention this app and she was the one that inspired me to download it and it like tracks you when you choose to do a meditation session, it gives you little like, you know, you can do med different meditations for different things, one for thought, one for just like sleep, one for relaxation, all, all of sorts of things. Um, some are really short, some are like five minutes and some are a lot longer, like 36 minutes. So you're totally can sort of tailor it around your day, um, which is so nice. So yeah, I've tried to get back into that and I've also booked myself a yoga class for the end of the week. I'm trying to go to the gym more, I'm trying to drink more water, all of these good things. Do you know what? It's difficult to sustain all of these things and I definitely don't believe in like beating yourself up if you don't, if you fall off the wagon or if, you know, it goes wrong one day or something like that. But it's just nice to sort of have a few things in mind that you want to sort of achieve and that's what I'm just trying to do at the moment. Another thing on my goals list was to go to more concerts this year. Um, I didn't really go to that many festivals or concerts in 2017. I was a bit of a fail there. Um, I went to V Festival for the day, for one of the days, but I didn't camp. This was the first year I didn't camp in about three years. So that was really, really weird because I went for the day, but I didn't camp. Um, and also the lineup, I still had a great time, but the lineup for me wasn't as good as previous years. So I didn't love it. And I'm trying to think what other concerts I went to. I really can't think, you know, I don't think I went to that many in 2017, quite disappointed in myself. So that was something that I wanna do this year. I've already got tickets for something in March. I'm going to see Tom Grennan um, with a friend of mine in Nottingham, which is gonna be so much fun. I absolutely love him, like I love him so much. So I randomly went online and his, he was selling tickets for like 15 pounds. And I was like, come on, you've got to do it. So I just texted her and I was like, we're going to see him whether you like it or not. And I think she's actually got into him, so it's all right. But um, yes, I'm really, really excited about that. And I'm just trying to like do more things this year, I think. Go on more trips, go on more, go to see more people live. Just sort of, you know, step out of my comfort zone. I used to go and do that sort of fun stuff and I feel like I sort of stopped. So 
I think I stopped because obviously it was the final year of university and my sole focus in life was my degree. Um, I can film so many videos as well on university if you guys are interested. Now I've finished it all and everything, I just think I have a much better perspective on the whole thing. Obviously I went to the University of Nottingham so if you have any specific questions about knots, let me know and I'll be there to answer them in the comments. Okay guys, so I just thought I would quickly finish up my makeup and sort of come back because I was struggling to sort of talk and do my makeup all at the same time. Um, so yeah, this is the finished makeup. It's really, really, actually not that heavy even though it looks like a lot of makeup in my viewfinder. It's because I have um, eyelash extensions, it makes everything look a little bit darker and more dramatic. And also, for once, I've decided to line my waterline, which I never do, but um, I just thought, why not? So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was a get ready with me, but it was more of a chit chat, what to expect throughout the year from me and just like how I'm keeping positive at the moment and just setting myself goals and just trying to be more organised. I feel like it's a great place to start in January and sort of a cl clean, fresh slate. And also I would love to kind of look back at this video in a year's time and see how things have maybe progressed or not. Um, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video, if you've got any sort of like rambly chatty things you just want to talk to me in the comments about, go ahead and comment. Um, if you've got a channel yourself and you want to like shout yourself out, go ahead and do that in the comment section below and I will check some of you guys' channels out. So yes, all of that good stuff. If you guys enjoyed the video, thumbs it up. If you like my channel, subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!